Now, uh, as we said earlier, a very uh, important thing is how we could visually represent this particular concept. Concept of an equation in a number line. Let's take the simple example of a number line. Let's see what this range of values could be expressed in terms of whatever conditions are given over here. So let's take a case of x greater than 6. So when you're saying x greater than 6, obviously you have to look at 6 over here. Over here, this is where 6 is. And obviously on any number line, as we move towards the right, the numbers become larger and larger and larger. So when you're talking about x greater than 6, we start a little beyond 6 and all this is covered and x is greater than 6. Mind you, we are not involving 6. It's anything. Sometimes your pen is incapable of exactly marking x greater than 6, but you understand the concept that it is any number more than 6, so to the right of 6. On the contrary, if you're saying x is greater than or equal to 6, we start from 6 and then we go ahead with this. So it is all the numbers including 6. See the difference in the line? We are starting after 6. Here we are starting from 6 and then we move that side. Similarly, we have x is greater than or equal to minus 6. So where do we have minus 6? Yes, we have minus 6 over here. So again, it is greater than or equal to minus 6. So yes, it involves 6. So we start from 6 and go on like this. We go on like this beyond. It's, an, it's a set of infinite numbers. Similarly, if you say x is less than or equal to 6, so we start from 6 here and then we move like this to the right, to the left of it. Because as we move to the left, the number becomes smaller. So from 6, when we move toward the left, it covers all the numbers which are either 6, each of which is either 6 or it is less than 6. So it goes on, all this is less than 6. On the contrary, you have x is less than or equal to minus 6. So we look at minus 6 here. We take 6 to, we start from 6 and then since it is less than or equal to, from here we move towards the left. So all these numbers, it could be minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10 or anything in between 2, minus 9.23675. All these numbers will be less than minus 6. Much the same way we have over here. So in a graphical <coughs> way, we have... <coughs> We have to do this again. <coughs> no. Just leave start from there. Huh? From where you start. So okay. in a graph. So <coughs> this is a simple graphical way. That is, it's basically a number line, not exactly a graph. It's like a graph. So we're using a number line to make us understand how a particular variable, say x, could attain what values and what exactly x greater than 6, x greater than or equal to 6, x less than or equal to 6 or any such number could mean.